One of the new capabilities within inventory is an all new asset details page. I'm going to start by doing a simple search for the Nessus user. I'm going to choose this top asset. When we get into the new asset details page, the first few things to highlight is we will give you the asset class. In this case, this is a person. Remembering asset classes are based on the type of asset and sources are based on how we find and assess the asset. A big new feature here is AI or asset explainability. This leverages AI to understand the asset and the critical weaknesses and summarize both for a quick and easy way to understand the asset without having to dive into all the menus. Seeing of the menus, we've introduced this bar here in the middle called the context bar. And this is a dynamic bar based on the asset class. In this case, we're looking at a person. So we have lots of different menus here on the context bar to look through. We have properties, which show us all of the associated properties with an asset. We have accounts, which show us all of the accounts associated with an asset. We have things like devices that show us all of the devices associated with an asset, tags, attack paths that are all associated with an asset. We have weaknesses for the first time, all associated with this asset. If we have things like entitlements or roles or groups that this asset belongs to, we'll highlight those as well. Access will show us the permissions associated with an asset. Relationships will allow us to understand all of the assets connections. And exposure cards will show us all of the different exposure cards in Lumen Exposure View that this asset is a part of. This is a little bit about the new asset details page, focusing primarily on asset explainability, leveraging AI in the brand new dynamic context bar.